Hello, Amy Stevenson with your local headlines. Hobart's housing crisis could see the Hodgman government lose a vote on the floor of the House of Assembly. The Greens will move to pause new short-stay permits for entire listings in the Greater Hobart area, with Labor likely to support the motion. However, Sue Hickey, who, Speaker Sue Hickey rather, who has been outspoken on the city's housing crisis, says she will listen to the debate before she makes up her mind for the casting vote. Almost 1,500 people have signed a petition calling on Hobart's Lord Mayor to remove inverted crosses installed for the Dark Mofo Festival. The four 20-metre-tall inverted crosses have prompted an outcry from the Australian Christian Lobby, who say they are highly offensive. The Labor Party says there's nothing new about a Liberal announcement regarding stamp duty. Opposition leader Rebecca Wyatt says the move to offer stamp duty discounts to first home buyers and seniors looking to downsize is something picked up from last year. And in sport, Tasmania's under-16s claimed victory in their opening game of the national championships. Following the state's under-18 success, Tasmania recorded a solid 22-point victory against Queensland. Now taking a look at the weather and on the satellite, showers in the northwest, gusty conditions on the coast. Checking the capital, Sydney 19, Canberra reaching 12, Adelaide 15. Very wet in our north today, a top of 15 in St Helens, 13 in Devonport. Rain also in the south, 15 in Swansea, while Grove will get to 14 degrees. To the four-day forecast now for Hobart and a wet week ahead in the capital. Maximum temperatures are sitting in the low to mid-teens, a top of 11 on Saturday. And in Launceston, possible rain during the week, but the sun will return on Saturday after morning frost and a top of 11.